Back in the early 2000s, pop-up adverts were all the rage amongst advertisers trying to get your attention. And there was a competition to see who could make the most effective ad possible towards kids on the internet at the time. Or, if you were an adult, they were the most annoying adverts online. These adverts would pop up on your screen without warning, and although not as common and effective nowadays due to ad block, they still exist. The most memorable of the bunch, I think for most people, would be a certain Smiley Central, which we all know about at this point. Or if you don't, watch my videos on them. And a very enticing Cursor Mania, which is funny because they were both under MindSpark Interactive Network, which was a very shady parent company that distributed and marketed them. There was a lot of hype during the early 2000s about customizable cursors, and although there were many easier ways to change your mouse cursor on the screen at the time to something else, Cursor Mania was born. Specifically dating back to 2003, Cursor Mania was a massive downloadable library of assorted cursors and pointers, which seems harmless at first, but this is MindSpark we're talking about here. Parent company of Smiley Central, my popular screensavers, and many other dodgy pieces of software at the time. So, safe to say, it didn't come alone. Cursor Mania would install its own toolbar to your internet browser, which, in effect, would hijack your browser and take control of it. You would end up with 10 different toolbars in the one browser, and the string of viruses that came along with them would be damaging. Slowing down your computer, changing your browser's home pages, and doing who knows what to your files, information, and search history. Yeah, it wasn't safe. But hey, you got a cute flame sword! Whilst they got your parents' bank details, but you know. Cute flame sword! Cursor Mania announced its departure in 2013 and was shut down by 2015. Interestingly enough, the website still remained active minus the download link till 2017. Last year, someone by the name of RGB Moo actually went through the library one by one and extracted each cursor from out of Cursor Mania so they were clean of any viruses and archived them. Impressive! So now you can get the flame sword without any strings attached. <laughs> yeah, cool I guess. So what do you think? Did you use Cursor Mania? Let me know. See you next time. What should the next episode of Forgotten Internet be about?